Hey, what's up, guys? This is Durian Productions. We have a brand new Huawei MateBook 13 2020 version with touch screen, houses an Intel Core i5 10th generation CPU with an MX250 discrete GPU. Let us open the seal, unbox the item. The laptop is straightforward inside the box. There is a standard 65 watt charger and a Type-C cable. One additional Type-C to USB Type-A adapter. There is a manual. After removing all the forms and the plastic wrap, here comes the beautiful gray MacBook 13. It feels very sturdy on hand. It is the same as the previous year version with two Type-C ports and one 3.5mm headphone jack. One of the Type-C is for charging. The back panel is pretty standard with four plastic stands and one very long window for cool fan in. You are not supposed to open it with a single hand. It feels just good enough on hand. The outlook is gorgeous. It feels premium, looks premium. The keyboard is very good, much better than last year's MateBook 13. The travel is decent. The response is great. There's only one thing, that is when you are typing, it could be easy for you to relax your hand on the touchpad due to a too wide touchpad. The screen is 13 inch, although being 13 inch, it is pretty large with narrow bezels. The webcam is at the top, not at the bottom, as always for Huawei devices, which is better for any Skype users. The power button has a fingerprint sensor with it. The device also supports Huawei Share technology. If you are using Huawei device, then there are many additional features you can explore. The touch screen is pretty responsive. When you press on the screen, the screen is pretty sturdy. The responsive rate on this MateBook 13 2020 version is very good, much better than previous year version. It is extremely responsive, very minimal lag, very minimal latency. This is one of the fastest or most responsive laptops I have ever tested in the previous two years. This shows that Huawei has really recruited a good team to do optimizations. We are now on YouTube. Open a random piece of music. The screen quality is gorgeous. It is better than my 2015 MacBook Pro and approaching the latest MacBook or MacBook Pro screen. As for the speaker, 
It is not as amazing as the screen, but still great for its price range, with ambient amount of bass and clarity. This is definitely not a speaker just for a bit of sound. The spec sheet looks great. It has a 10th generation 14 nanometers Core i5 CPU. The battery is on the lower side, around 40 to 1 hour battery. Considering the low discharge rate, around 4 watt, it can run maximum 10 hours on battery without too significant loud. While it is still suggested for Huawei to upgrade the battery beyond 50 watt hours so that it can easily go beyond 10 hours battery. The memory is dual channel LPDDR3 memory on board 16 gigabytes, which is great for such a small laptop. The display is a 13 inch 16 versus 10 screen. It's a touch screen from Chi Mi, China. The brightness, the contrast ratio is great, and the actual feeling is also great. It's almost a perfect screen considering its price range. The solid state drive is from Toshiba, although I am not familiar with it, but Toshiba drives are generally good. The wireless card is from Intel, it is a very stable one. The benchmark shows the performance of the MateBook. The AS SSD score is very good, Cinebench R15. It's super high even on battery mode. CPU beyond 710 CB with OpenGL beyond 90 FPS. The Blackmagic RAW speed test is the highest on battery I have tested. The CPU is 17 FPS and GPU 25 FPS. Take note that AMD R7 can only get 9 or 10 frames per second in CPU and at most 20 for CUDA. So this is definitely an ideal laptop to bring this out. As for the stability and the performance long term output, this laptop is also great. Without any loud, the CPU temperature is around 50 degrees. The discharge rate is a bit larger considering the IDA64 stability test opened. Let us start the test and then the total power consumption of CPU rises to around 25 watts with a 3.2 gigahertz frequency. The temperature is beyond 80 Celsius degree which shows that within one or two minutes the performance is very respectable. After 10 minutes of stability test, the power envelope is restricted to 15 watts and temperature less than 70 Celsius degree. Now the frequency is pretty respectable around 2.5 gigahertz. Comparing to previous year 2019 version, which has a 10 watt envelope and a 1.8 GHz frequency, 2020 version is definitely a lot more powerful. Let's now start dual stress test on CPU and GPU. Once started, 
the GPU frequency is now around 900 megahertz to 1 gigahertz. CPU frequency is around 2.5 gigahertz, a very respectable number now. A bit later, CPU get some drops and continue dropping. After five minutes stability test, the CPU frequency dropped to around 1.8 to 1.9 gigahertz. It is not high, but generally okay for gaming using MX250. The GPU frequency is still around 900 to 1 gigahertz, which shows that the stability of this laptop is pretty good. To maintain such stable output, the fan noise now becomes quite large. Although being quite loud, it is not really noisy since the noise is pretty stable. This is attributed to the high quality fan used in this machine, not similar to those low end machines which has a very zla 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 sound fan.